Um, I guess first of all, it seemed like they seem to put a lot of pressure on you guys tonight in terms of it didn't seem like there were a lot of clean plays, a lot of um, you know, pockets bouncing around, things like that. Did you feel that way a little bit about you know, trying to you know, get your offense move, moving the way they were playing? Yeah, you know what? Anytime you play them, they, they do a really good job of taking away time and space. You know, and, and so I thought early in the game uh, we were getting rid of pucks through the neutral zone a little too much. Uh, Dreskel does a great job of playing pucks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the things we talked about was trying to keep pucks away from him. You know, I thought the first period was a little bit of a feeling out process in both teams. Uh, you know, and then they found a way to, to get a bounce and capitalize on it. And, Got another one and capitalized on it and played well, but I thought they, you know, they were hungrier, uh, they were a bit harder, mm -hmm. and usually when that happens when you're playing a real uh, good team like Bemidji, they're going to beat you, and they did. That first goal is probably one that Brighton doesn't give up very much, uh, right? I mean, it's, unless something else happened. I, mean, uh, <clears throat> I haven't seen it, but I. At the time, I think Dryden would say he'd want it back, but I need to look at that before I, I do any judging of that. And you know what, for us, uh, you, you get one. <laughs> We're going to ask him to be perfect yeah. if we just get one. So, um, like I said, I think the team that, that just played a little bit better and, and wanted a little bit more won the hockey game. This really sets up, obviously, tomorrow night, you know, whether it's for them to share the cup with you guys or it's really number one seed more than anything being on the line last game of the year. What, what, what are your thoughts about about that going into that that game with everything on the line? We'll learn a little bit about that. You know, one thing I told the guys, we just got to look in the mirror, you know, and, and see 2020. Not good enough tonight. Uh, you know, and again, I thought they deserved to win the hockey game. So we're going to have to go back and uh, be a bit more assertive. With it, without it, uh, you know, try to I think go back and reestablish ourselves a little bit. You know, there was there were some things I saw this week that might have crept into our game that I think were evident tonight, and so we'll look at it and we'll get right back at it tomorrow. It seemed like you had a few pretty decent scoring chances that Driscoll made a good save on Mapravnik and. There were a couple others where the Connor Mackey fired one wide. That was a pretty good play. I mean, just uh, finishing or more credit to the way they, they defended on those. Well, yeah, I mean, got to give Driscoll credit, but I think we've got to we've got to put more more heat on him. Uh, we've got to get more people to the net. We've got to get more pucks to the net. Um, and when you're when you're in a game like tonight, at this time of the year, games are going to be close. You're going to be comfortable playing in those and make a push. I didn't. You know, I'd like to see a more of a push for us in the third period uh, if we want to go out and try and win that hockey game. So tomorrow's another opportunity. Tonight, opportunity lost. We need to learn from it and move on. Mike, on the goal that you did score, it was a great shift by Josh French. He kept the puck in the zone, I think, earlier on that shift and then uh, uh, wired a shot from the slot area. Uh, again, we talk a little bit uh, all year about uh, what he contributes to the team and how important he is on special teams. And of course, there weren't a whole lot with special teams tonight with only one power play and on face-offs, but then he gets a, a key goal for us tonight. Uh, fortunately, I'm not going to say it was wasted but because we couldn't get another one, but uh, he's one of your seniors and you've talked about your seniors all year long being key guys and Josh is one of those guys tonight. You know, uh, great point by you. I thought he from the drop of the puck uh, through the end of the game was as consistent as the forward as we had. Yep. Thought he felt comfortable in making plays. Um, he was a guy that, you know, we tried to get more ice in the third period because of the way he was playing. Uh, I liked his game tonight uh, and hopefully he can duplicate that tomorrow. Alright, good luck tomorrow night, Mike. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Thanks.